Welcome guys to our YouTube channel where we are focused on raising private capital and investing with purpose. So whether you are a new investor, an experienced investor, or even looking to buy a business with private capital, understanding the art of raising private capital is super crucial in today's competitive landscape. Join us as we navigate the complex realm of attracting investors, securing funding, and building meaningful relationships that fuel your business growth. All right. Hi, guys. So today we're excited about this episode. I think we're always excited about each episode, um, but we're really just going to dive in and um, share, uh, do a case study. Yeah. of a deal that we've done but, but before we share anything we'll just share or the streamer with you guys yes you guys the um, information provided right now today is um <laughs> for, <laughs> Sorry, for purposes only guys. yes 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 we, for educational purposes only you guys Please do your due diligence. We do not provide financial, legal, or professional advice. Every case is different, so definitely search those advised people that know what they're doing, or ask us. We can. We know people who are in that realm too. So we're very excited about um, talking to you guys about so a case study that we have today. So very very. Find that a lot of persons always asking us like. <laughs> How do you structure deals? And we try anytime we share deals, like a full breakdown of projects that we've done, uh, we get a lot of feedback. And for some persons, it's good to actually show the entire breakdown. So that way they get um, like a full understanding of how things are really done, that rather than just doing general um, information about it. So yeah, so it's really, really important for you guys to get that information, to understand it, and to have more specific questions. Because sometimes the questions that we get are really, really broad. Yeah. And we're trying to be more open with you guys so that you guys can see how we structure things and like what, then you guys can get like ideas. How do I do this? Or like how specifically, what is this? And that way we can be more technical and just get all the right answers. So this deal, actually, we got it from another um, sub two member. Mm -hmm. uh, they acquired this deal uh, over a year ago. Um, but so when we came in the picture, they already closed on it subject to, but they had a, an existing private money lender that they needed to repay their loan and get rid of that note because the loan was due. So they wanted another private money lender to come in either to do another 12 to 24 month term or to come in and be an equity partner. Um, when we looked on this deal, it was, we actually underwrote the entire deal in terms of what the exit was. I think it was being, it was being used as a short-term rental. So we underwrote the deal as the worst case scenario, um, mm -hmm. see if it would still um, make money for that investor. We underwrote the deal. It was still making money. It was still good. So we went ahead, we created a pitch deck and we started like marketing it to our list or, or network rather of um, private money lenders. And it took us a while. Yeah, this one did take us a while. And we had to like renegotiate the terms every time <laughs> because I think the feedback we were getting is just that people wanted more. Uh, and we were finding a lot of investors who wanted less time. Mm -hmm. Like they just wanted to be on the deal. Um, that's something else that we're going to talk about, like equity versus um, interest. So but, it's not a difference. But that one, it, it, I, I would say it, it took us maybe like three weeks mm -hmm. to get it funded. And as Betsy said, it's really because we had to keep going back and doing the renegotiation part of it. Yeah. And um, I think, too, we initially found a private money lender who would come in and then they backed out last minute. It's something that we're yeah. also going to talk about in a different episode of how we handle things like that. But this lender, they came in. Um, the I know initially the terms were, I think, $70,000. And then it will be a 12-month term. Um, I think it got 10 or 12% for 12 months. 
So that was the lending side of it. So we didn't even pitch equity at all mm -hmm. when we did the pitch deck. We were just marketing it as, hey, we just need a private money lender for 12 months. And we started getting like different feedbacks for persons, lenders who were interested in the equity portion. And they were like, what if we wanted equity? What would the terms be? So that's how we even decided to offer, like talking to the, the investor on this end to say, hey, would you guys be open to giving equity on this deal? And that's how we, after analyzing like how much debt the property has, the value, the income, all that stuff, um, I think we came up with about 80 to about $85,000 for the investor to come in with. And then we would give equity for that deal. And I think it would, it worked for that lender because they wanted to be hands off. They wanted um, to be getting that monthly cash flow for not doing anything. Just know that, hey, cha ching ching, money is going into your account. <laughs> each month without doing anything. <clears throat> they wanted to also build their rental portfolio. So they saw that this is an opportunity for them to build their rental portfolio as well. Yeah. Because it was already there. What is, was it for that deal? What was yeah. the equity split? I, I know it was, it was around um, 20, 25. Or, or 30. It was something there about, but it didn't, past 40 percent yeah past that um and i know like we struck it was structured in a way where hey you get x amount of money um this is your equity portion of it um the investor would manage the what do you call that like the daily operations of the property because it was being used as a short-term rental yeah. um and then the agreement was each month starting x time that lender were now now equity partner would <laughs> would um, receive uh, a percentage of the the cash flow. One of the main concerns for that lender as well was, hey, how soon would I get my initial investment back? Or what is my return on investment for me to recoup my initial investment to see if this is really working? So one thing that we really did, we estimated what the cash flow is. So I think let's say the cash flow was about a thousand bucks a month. And we work backwards to say, if we do $1,000 each month, minimum $1,000 each month, and we worked out how long it would take for that $80,000 um, $80, to be recouped, I think it took about seven to, um, seven to eight years. And that's a minimum if he's getting $1,000 each month. And then the agreement was he got majority of the cash flow split as well. And the reason why that worked was because there was enough spread in the cash flow for him to get that. Um, what is what oh, just like not every case, right? Every case is different, and in this case, in this scenario, it worked. Mm -hmm. It worked for it worked for both parties. It worked for the investor. The investor was fine. Some persons would be like, "No, I'm not giving away the majority of my cash flow." Yeah, but I think the spread was just there, and it worked out where that. Um, capital partner could be could have gotten majority of the cash flow split um, and that's another thing too like I, even though we'll talk about this in a different episode is that this person even though they bring the capital they're no longer a private money lender because they have ownership in the house um, they're a capital partner so they share the same percentage for profit they share the expenses if there's a loss and all that stuff um, if the property is not being rented, um, if it's vacant, they're not making any money. So everyone involved is not making any money. Um, and I think what is with that deal? For the documents, we didn't do a promissory note and we didn't do um, a deed of trust. Uh, we just did uh, LLC and had an operating agreement, um, funds, funds, everything was done through a title company. Um, and then um, when they do get their money paid back, their principal mm -hmm. paid back, they're still an equity partner. I, I do get to that question a lot, actually. People will be like, well, you know, what happens after? And they're still an equity partner. The LLC still stays in place. That's a good point. And they still get, so even that too, even though we close on this deal 2023, 
they will get the tax benefits as well. As long as that agreement or that, that arrangement is still in place, they will still um, benefit from all the things that comes with owning a property. Unless both partners decide to go separate way and one person buys out the other one, you can get super technical with that with your attorney or with the investor. But the not, operating agreement. And the, the operating agreement is key. Um, I think with that too is stated who is responsible for what, what is the share of profits, the loss, the percentage, all that stuff. Um, it was super clear and um, it just worked for both parties involved. That's what I would say. Yeah. Um, so we covered the documents, we covered how the funds were transferred. Yes, everything went through title. Just for peace of mind, cost an extra dollars, but it, I think it worked. Um, what other question I think people would ask about like for a deal breakdown? Um, how we found this person, we found this lender um, in our uh, mastermind, sub two. Um, we form a relationship with them for a while. We always sent them uh, opportunities. When we sent out this one, they were very interested in it. Um, even though when they sent the first one, so when we sent this out, because someone else was interested in lending on this deal. Um, and for us, it's really like a first day. It's a first come, yeah. first serve basis. Um, and then that person backed out. So therefore, he was like next in line for it. And which worked out, which doesn't happen all the time. I know we talked about that in our past video of unsuccessful raises. We yeah. try to have one person just as a backup, but um, this time we did. We actually were able to have someone as a backup and it worked out. Yeah, no, that one was good. And that's the property. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, let us know in the comments. Um, in terms, Any questions about this particular deal? We try to share um, as much as we can that we're allowed to share. Um, yes. So for all, our, <laughs> yeah, all our overthinkers and all that stuff who want to ask, how did we get the operating agreement? How did we get the LLC? Who did this? Who paid for what? Mm -hmm. I would yeah. say, like, worry, worry about that when you get the deal. Mm -hmm. And you find someone, that way you don't, like, create an LLC and then someone else comes in you got to start a whole new LLC and all that stuff together. Like, no. Um, it's a step-by-step step and there's no right or wrong way. It's just what works for both parties. Yeah, you can structure it any different way. It just depends on your case. Yes, every case is different. Every yes. Everything, every detail, you just have to make sure you know what's going on and write it down. Everybody agrees to it. Be transparent. Trustworthy. Yes. <laughs> so that being said like if you guys have questions let us know you can always check out our website it has a bunch of deals that we have you can even get ideas of how we structure mm -hmm. those deals as well with what we are proposing um you can also see deals that we have done and that well, we've actually done with private money lenders how we structure those um check out our website yeah like or <laughs> Like this video. What is it? You like it? You 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 subscribe and what was it? Ring the um, bell. Huh? Ring the bell. Ring the bell for notifications. We are dropping a ton of time. Um, thank you guys for. Um, yes. Yes, thank you guys. So whether you're looking to finance your next project, yep. um, expand a new business, we hope that this episode gave you some insights and some new tips and ideas so that you can raise capital and invest with purpose. Mm -hmm.